What's going on, everybody? No, Welcome back no. to Barry Garage. This one's not even a real intro. That's not even a real intro. We gotta do this shit again. What's up, people? Welcome to Barry hey. Garage. We haven't posted, and we are sorry. In but we've actually four weeks. Yeah, I know. Uh, first of all, before we even get to that. Thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I know it's been a while. It, it happened about two weeks ago or so, but we're super excited. We like it was a big milestone for us. Like we were, we were really looking out of the country. To that. Yeah, we were out of the country when we hit the thousand subs, and he came and told me, and I was like, no way. So I had to go on my phone. And I checked it out, and I was losing my shit out right, there. Right, right. We actually we went to India. Um, it was one of my really good friends. He was getting married, so. You know, the whole family went out there. It was a super fun trip. Um, now that I think about it, I should have just vlogged the whole thing. That would have been fun. But next time. Ne yeah, next time. But anyways, we're back and uh, we're going to start uploading again. Um, hopefully, school's, hopefully school's done, so winter schedule. break. What's up? Hopefully get on a posting schedule. Yeah. Do things more on time for you guys. So you guys aren't always saying in the comments, why aren't you guys posting? Right. I, I see y'all. I see those comments. Need new videos. Need more videos. My bad. We've been working on some stuff, but uh, Jay Cervantes, we are back. Hey, I see your comments there all you the time. Go. There you go. But um, we're actually gonna start going to more like local car meets, more events and stuff too. So uh, just stay tuned for all that. And if you guys want to see specific things out here, don't hesitate to comment down below. We'll check it out. We read all the comments and we like to reply to most of them. So if you, if I see or if we see some good ideas, we'll go ahead and uh, exactly actually yes. make some videos out of them. If, if you guys, guys know some cool stuff them. going on in the bay, and you know. You want us to check it out? Like he said, let us know. And if you see us there, say don't hi. be shy. Come by, say hello. Be You'll be in the video. If you Come want. on. But um, going forward with today, um, Nick actually picked up some tire letters for his car. And uh, I messed up twice. We <laughs> tried it. We started okay. going through with it. But we've been having a little bit of trouble. Uh, we're going to head outside and we'll show you what's going on with that. And then. Uh, That'll probably be it for today's video. Yeah, that's gonna be today's video. It's gonna be the tire letters, but let us know, like, you know, in the comments below as to what you wanna see for future videos. Um, We do, like you said, read all the comments and uh, we take everything into consideration. So don't be a stranger. Let us know in the comments. Once again, thank you for the thousand subscribers. Yes, and let's keep it going, keep it going. This is exactly, this is for y'all, this is for y'all. All right, guys, we're outside now. Um, we're gonna show you guys what we did yesterday and how to actually put the tire letters on. Um, <clears throat> so the tires, uh, the tire letters that we got are actually from this tire website graphics. here. Tire graphics. Um, These that's are what the they look like. Peel and stick ones, so it's only temporary. Um, now that I think about it, I should have bought the permanent ones because they're only gonna last 2,000 miles, according so to they say, the, yeah. in the book, but it depends on how you take care of it and how you put it on. It's gonna go here. And if I didn't mess up twice, I would have had another one going down here, but I ruined it on the other <laughs> side trying to learn how to do ruined. it. Ruined. So I ruined it and now I can only put one per wheel. It doesn't look that bad, but it sucks because I'm gonna have a few extra you know, Hey, let's over. show them what it looked like on the other side, what we did. <clears throat> so the front one actually came out a little nicer. It's gonna be hard to see because of how the car is parked right now but that's what that looks like. When we're done with all of them, we'll move it back so you guys can get like a better picture. Rolling shot after. Or that. But this is what the rear came out like. The K is kind of messed up. That's more than kind of messed up. But he was wanting to get, you know, the one here and then one on the opposite side. But like he said, he's an idiot, so he didn't put it on properly. And uh, he ruined it. So we're gonna go back and show you guys how to put these on. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's, you it's, don't need too much stuff to actually install this. Uh, before the video even started, I started already cleaning them, so I'm not gonna show too much, but all you need is some acetone. They say in the, in the instruction guide that you have to use acetone and not nail polish removers, so just go ahead and put a little bit on and only clean the section where you're actually gonna be putting the sticker on. There's no point in actually clean the whole tire. Um, if you are putting it on both ends, like how he originally wanted to, then you're probably gonna have to, 
Um, oh yeah, if you're doing it like that. Yeah, um, but then again, you know, just measure it out. If you don't want, you don't want to spend all that time and like energy trying to clean the whole Take tire. Take your time, window. though. Take yeah. your time and clean it because that's another reason why I think I messed up is there's still oil left in on the tires, so it didn't stick properly. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and speed this process up because I still want to clean it another like four or five times. Yeah, we're probably just gonna cut it here and then pick up when the tires are clean. But. Um, Keep going over and over until like you think it's clean enough. Like when, once you think it's clean enough, go or two or three more passes just to make sure. So we're gonna cut here and we'll come back when the tire's all clean and ready to go. Look at this guy, he think he hot shit. Got a fucked up bumper right here. Huh? Look at this guy, he don't even, look at him. Look at him. So we're done cleaning it up now. It took another like five minutes or so, but the instructions- Like we said, take your time. The instructions say that it has to be about 65 degrees or warmer outside, and currently it's not. We're in like the 50s right now. So I'm gonna use a heat gun and actually just warm up the tire on where I'm actually gonna be working just so the glue sticks just a little bit better. So I'm gonna warm up the tire really quick and get the process for this started, which is just peeling back the sticker. Right, we'll, we'll show you step by step what we're doing, but what, all we're doing right now is uh, we have a heat gun. Uh, you're more than welcome to use a hair dryer if you have that. That takes longer though. Yeah, but you know, most people have a hair dryer lying around at the house, so you can just use that. And uh, just heat the tire up like so. Yeah, just on the section where you wanna apply it and uh, then you can stick it on. All right, so we warmed up the tire. Um, just make sure you pick these little things off. You don't have to I don't know what go they're called. I don't, yeah, what are they called? Do you know? No. Oh. It's pretty. But yeah, those little things taken out, just uh, poke them off. Um, just in the section that you're gonna apply it. Get your sticker figure out exactly where you want it. This is where we're gonna put it. So, there's two layers to this. It's like applying like a like a screen protector on your phone. So, like they always have the two layers. So you're gonna peel off the white portion. Like that. So you just peel off the whole thing. But just be a little careful. You don't wanna just rip it off. Next thing you know, the letters come off with it. So, Got the whole thing off. If you have someone else to help you, that's good. If not, it's all right. So I'm just gonna put it right there. Is that where you want it? Uh, a little lower, higher? Yeah, right there. Right there? Is that fine? A little, no, it's fine. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> all right. No, that's fine. That's fine? Yeah, all right, cool. And then just follow it through like that. There you go. So it's stuck on. And that's it, you're done. On to the next one. Nah, just kidding. You thought. You thought. So once you stick it on firmly, yeah, make sure you go on it. It's written in caps. Each, each letter, just uh, press it down. So we'll We're speed gonna... through this real quick. All right, so once you have it pressed down, this guy thinks, this guy thinks he's stronger and shit, so. Last time like, I know, did this, it touching didn't work. It, he just wants to touch it to be like, to feel like he's a part of this. Anyways, once you have it pressed down, get your hair dryer, heat gun, whatever you have. Turn it on and, before I turn it on, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> turn it on and you wanna just heat up the sticker one more time. Um, <clears throat> to get it warm to the touch. And as it's heating up, keep pressing down on it. So like you could go two or three or four passes and then put the heat gun or hair, hair dryer aside and just make sure you press the letters onto the tire. You can repeat the process as many times as you want. So um, we're gonna do that now. I did about two or three passes with the heat gun and pressed down every time afterwards. Um, <clears throat> So now we're just gonna peel off the clear plastic piece here. But um, <clears throat> I've done it about two times before on the other side. And uh, what I noticed was when you start peeling it off, um, the tire letters will still start coming off with the plastic. So 
you can use a nail or like any any object I just use my nail and I just pulled the tire letter down a little bit to get it to stick and once it sticks then the rest comes off fairly easy but um, I don't know if it'll do that right now but if it does then you guys will see what, uh, what I'm I, talking about should I move closer probably if you want just bring it up here it, is it coming in easy over there yeah. is that fine all right so as you guys could see the tire letter still stuck onto the piece it's a little hot um, <clears throat> How should I do this? Just peel it off? Is it glued down enough? I don't think so. <clears throat> this is where I messed up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even glued down, dude. Yeah, FYI, BRB bros, don't buy this product. Just saying, I am not a fan of it. Move it up, move it up, they can't even see me. There you go. I'm not a fan of it, neither am I. We'll put a link in the description and we'll put next to it, do not buy. But these are the, what was it? The peel and stick. Not just that, but not the permanent. What are the other, the short term? Short term one. The short term one, yeah. They do have the permanent ones, which are actual like, letters that you can glue on your tire i feel like those would probably work out a lot better these are trash i'm not saying that this company is trash but this product is trash but uh we're still gonna try it we'll probably end up buying like the permanent ones because it's only like, rated for 2,000 miles yeah so oh. by the time he gets his next oil change done they'll probably be slipping yeah. off that's not even glued down dude So as you peel it off, just keep pressing down because uh, whatever is on there, you want it to stick. We're gonna we're gonna peel the rest of this off, and then we'll, we'll show you when we're done peeling it. All right. So I peeled off the plastic. Um, the K as up. best as I could. Again. But look at this. See this? You see this? Like what? What is this? This is trash. Like this looks so nasty. How much was it? Somewhere like 60 bucks almost. No, how much was this? Yeah, like 59 and something. You paid $60 for this? Yeah. Hey, in in the video I watched, it looked like a good product. Hey, you paid $60 for this? Yeah. Shut the hell up. Hey, in the video- This is not worth more than $10 to me. I, this is such a shit product. Look, what is this? It looks so disgusting. I mean, I'm kind of glad that it's gonna peel off after 2,000 miles or like turn to shit on its own. No, do not spend $60. Do not spend 40. Do not spend $20 on this. Or at least from tire graphics. Tire graphics. Maybe there's a tire graphics. Thing. If you're watching this, y'all trash. No, y'all y'all ain't trash. trash. This product trash. Unless we got a a shitty product and you guys want to send us a new one to make up for this. Feel free to message us, but they said on the instruction guides that people have done this all the time, so there's no excuses. Right. Not just that, they said do this properly. Where is that shit? I saw that yesterday. Um, Even by step by step following it, it still doesn't come out. Common sense and patience. We do not offer refunds, so please be careful. So I guess it's not. Hey, they're they're covering their ass, right? Whatever. Um, but you guys, whoever wants to buy tire lettering, I would suggest not buying the temporary one and going for the permanent one. Um, when I get it on my IS250, I'm definitely buying the permanent tire lettering. Thank God this guy tried this one out. But, uh, um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, just show them the other side around. We're gonna repeat the process for the driver's side, front. <clears throat> but that's what the other side came out like we showed you earlier. Like, what, what is this? The K was like all fucked up. The, the front one over here, the passenger front, came out pretty decent. <clears throat> it's hard to see it though, yeah. but. We'll show geez. you guys after. We'll do like a rolling shot, but I mean, that's what it is, so. For 60 bucks, very disappointed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't drop the camera now. I know. 
But uh, we're gonna do the front one and then we'll be right back with you guys, all right? All right, now that we're done, how do you feel about this product? Absolutely garbage. Please do not buy this. <laughs> I don't care how professional you think you are, you're not gonna get these letters to lay down as good as all right, it does so in this product. is the driver's front side. Came out all right. I mean, once, once you're moving, I mean, yeah. you can't tell. Right, right. But still, you're paying for a product. You want it to be good. Here is the driver's rear side. But then again, you have to remember that these are the temporary ones, right? The K isn't even on this shit anymore, bro. <laughs> it's like hand look. <laughs> oh, man. All right, and here's the, the best one. I think the best out of all of them was here. Yeah. Oh, well, let's do a drive-by real quick. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna have Nick drive by real quick and see what it looks like, but uh, that's the finished product. Trash. All right, guys, that was the install of the Tire Graphics Temporary Tire Letters. Trash, temporary trash tire letters for that. Um, I don't know if anybody else has had a good experience with these. Drop a comment below. Let us know. If we did something wrong in the install, let us know. Let us know. Um, <clears throat> but a link will be in the description for the product itself. Um, you can check it out, but you yeah. don't buy it. Yeah, you, you, yeah you exactly. Browse through their go through their website. Um, maybe try out their permanent tire letters. Um, that might be a better product than this. But like I said, um, this is no go. So besides that, um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, just want to let you guys know that we are back. We're going to start uploading again, um, hopefully fairly regularly. Uh, yeah. We're going to try. Uh, <laughs> it so. is winter break now, so hopefully uh, we can get more content out. Exactly. But, uh, you know, drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, thank you guys once again for the 1,000 subscribers. It's, I mean, guys, we, we were really like... When we started the channel, we thought 500. We we shit ourselves when we hit 100. Yeah, we so, were like, oh man, 100 subscribers. So getting to 1,000, it's like a huge accomplishment for us. And, and uh, to see that we're almost at 1,200. Right, right almost we, 1,200. Yeah. So our goal for the end of the year, we started this channel um, January January 1st or 20. Yeah, around January, like beginning of January of this year. And um, our goal for the end of the year was 1,000 subscribers. And we're so like super excited that we got, we, we hit our goal for the year. And our goal for next year five, is try five. to hit 5,000 by the end of next year. Um, so tell your friends. Yeah, tell, tell your friends, tell, tell your, your family, mom. tell everybody. Check out Barrier Garage on YouTube. But all jokes aside, thank you guys once again for watching, subscribing, showing us love. Um, but besides that, peace, peace out. out.